demonstrate a very basic, simple denial service attack using slow loris. I have Backtrack 5 running here. I have Firefox open. And my website is at 192.168.234.143. And I'm running simple XAMP for Windows. It's a Windows 7 computer running XAMP. And we can see the welcome screen and the status screen. And my XAMP is running with Perl, PHP, ASP, um, SQL database. So everything is working just fine. I am now going to go to the website that has slow loris, ha.cker.org slash s-l-o-w-l-o-r-i-s. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you will see the download for slow loris PL. We're going to click on that and we're going to select this entire script. So we're going to hit control A, right click and copy. So now that we have a copy of the Perl script, we are now going to go back to the command prompt or the terminal prompt of our backtrack system, which we can do that by hitting the little terminal icon at the top. And in here we are going to use VI, my favorite editor on every system, VI space, and we're going to call this little Perl script slowloris.pl kind of funny that we'd call it the same thing as what we're actually using right and we're gonna hit the letter I for insert and we're going to now paste the information in here since I'm in the terminal prompt I have to hold the shift control and then hit the V key to paste it in I'm gonna hit escape to get out of insert mode, I'm going to hit the shift colon WQ for write and quit. Hit the enter key, and I should now have created the slow doors Perl script. If I want to take a look and make sure it's there, I type ls, and I should see my desktop and the slow doors Perl script. Now I need to make it executable. And I do that with the chmod command, chmod space plus X for executable, and then SL, hit the tab key, and I have my slow loris Perl script in there. So the command was chmod plus X space slow loris dot PL. Hit enter on that, and now if I do an LS, I can see slow loris has changed to a green or a fluorescent yellow, whatever you want to call it. It is now executable. So now I'm going to run Perl space slow loris.pl space dash DNS space and then my IP address or name of the website I want to do a denial of service attack on. My website happens to be at 192.168.234.143. Now I want to make sure I have my little disclaimer here. The actions, I'm not responsible for your actions if you use any other IP address besides an IP address of a local web server that you own, that you're responsible for, and that you're not doing this against a website that you do not own or that you're responsible for. So in other words, I do not recommend you execute this command at all, <laughs> just to be safe. But I'm going to do it because I am trusting that I am typing in the IP address of my own web server running on a Windows 7 computer, which just happens to be running right here, Windows 7. And I have XAMP running right here. So this is mine. This is the computer that we're going to be attacking in this example. I'm going to hit enter, and now if I go back to Firefox to try to browse to my website, click on the welcome screen or click on the status screen, it is going to sit there and try and try to connect, and it's not going to be able to. Just to make sure I can get out to anything else, 
I can get out to google.com so my internet access is just fine but this one website is now inaccessible I can even get rid of the exam portion in here and just try to go to the main website and it will not work we'll wait a few minutes for this to time out if I go back here you can see that's building the sockets essentially sending HTTP requests and is not answering them. It has now sent 1,700 packets successfully. So it's sending a lot of packets without answering back. And my web server doesn't know what to do. It's trying to answer them, but it's not getting a response. So it's locked up. You know, would this even work against a you know, like real setup website that is going to have? Would this setup? work against a real website? Yes, it would, and I'll demonstrate that next because I have another website that is publicly accessible on the internet that I'm going to try this against. So like and it says version? this connection has timed out, so it's taking too long to respond. So if I break my hit Control C. Go back and hit reload. Everything loads just fine. My website is back up and working correctly. So now the question was, does it work on a real website? Well, this is a real website, but I have a real public website called the Tech Ninjas that my students use. So here's the techninjas.org. This is where they can actually create a ticket. The students help Southwest Tech students and faculty and staff with personal computer problems. So what we're going to do is do this attack against the techninjas.org. So we're going to copy this. And I'm going to execute the same command. But instead of the IP address, I am now going to paste in there Oops, the website without the protocol. And now I have taken my Tech Ninjas website down. You're more than welcome to try to browse to the TechNinjas.org website, and you'll see that it is inaccessible, not working. So this would actually work against a large corporation. Yep. So if I hit Control C, it stops it, and now I hit Refresh, and now everything's working just fine. Okay. Again, I do not recommend that you use this on anything but a web server that you built yourself and are in total control of. Do not run this against anything out on the internet. Don't even run it on my web server. I will prosecute you. <laughs>